Greetings all Frog here, let's play Europa Universalis 4 with our Onspock Aggression campaign. This is start number three. And we're starting again for a number of reasons. One, I just, I don't think we had the right setup the last time. I mean, we were winning the wars and everything, but Frankfurt wouldn't give it back. I don't think they were ever going to give it back. We wouldn't be able to get the Elector thing. The Elector is sort of the number one priority, and it just, it just wasn't going to work. Uh, part of reason number two is that I have now upgraded. I have the Cossacks, so that makes a big deal. What is this? Oh, yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Um, I'm not used to seeing that one. So, now that we have the Cossacks, we can actually do a lot more of the diplomacy that is inherent in the upgrade. So, you know, that's that's going to be a big change. And then, uh, the, probably the biggest reason that we're doing this is that I have upgraded my computer. Um, not really upgraded it, but I've reinstalled Ubuntu 15.10 from scratch, and when I did that, I formatted the hard drive, because it's, I found that's, that's the best way to do a full install, and it has solved some problems, not all the problems, we're still having some, some crackle issues, we're still having some, some minor issues with background sound and stuff like that, but for the most part, it does seem to be more stable. I think there's, there is a major pulse audio problem in, in 15.10, but it's not going to be fixed anytime soon, probably, so it's just something we're going to have to live with. Um, but, you know, you'd say, oh, well, you're performing your, your computer, there's no problem, you have you backed up everything you need to back up, right? Yeah, of course I did, I backed up all the music I had downloaded, um, uh, to, to a degree, I mean, there's, there's uh, uh, some things that I'll, I've got the CDs for, I'll have to put back on here, but that's not a big deal. And then there's, uh, you know, I mean, I, I backed up all the save files, well, as you'll find out in the factorial playthrough, um, I saved the wrong factorial save files because I had not point eleven point twenty two still installed, and I backed up all of those instead of the not point twelve point twenty, which is what we were playing. So you can imagine they were a little old. The other thing that I didn't back up were any of the EU four or CK two save files because they were all on the cloud, so I didn't have to worry about it. Except that my Onspock campaign was not on the cloud; it was local. I, I remember doing that now because I was thinking hmm, it might be faster for the monthly auto saves. Uh, needless to say, I'm now saving this on the cloud because I'm not going to make that mistake ever again. But uh, that's really the tertiary thing. The other two reasons I think were, were really more the reason why I wanted to do this. So there is still some lag. You can could, you could see it there. It's a little bit. So I'm sure every time there's lag on the screen, there's crackle. And that's just how it is. Let's move up to speed three. And then let's get things started, right? So, I mean, look, look at how good the scroll is. So it's not, it's, it's not, the problem is not the graphics card. It's something happening in the processor or at the... You know, at some level, I don't know what's doing it. All right, Austria, come on, we need to be friends, buddy. We're, we're friendly to you. You should be friendly to us. So there's going to be there's this whole new tab now. You can see that third tab up there. Maybe you don't know where I'm looking, but there is a third tab. Let's take a royal marriage right off the get. That's good. Oh, cancel that. Cancel. Oh my God. Yeah, this is going to be tough to play right now because the mouse is lagging. We're having some performance issues. I don't why this is, because I haven't had this mouse issue on EU4 before. This is new. So we can get the Royal Marriage. What do we take for the Alliance? It's going to be pretty close, actually. So if we go here and show diplomatic feedback, we can actually set our attitude towards them, and we are friendly. Yeah, I want to I wanna be friendly. Um, we can actually manage the attitude. Um, this allows me to decide the actual attitude, um, otherwise it'll be automatic. And it's, it's automatic, we're, we're friendly to them, we're the same religion. You know, we should be, we should be friends. Um, you could say, I could increase Austrian trust of Bonspach, uh, I could ask them to prepare for war, if we're going to go into war. Um, and then I'll join their offensive wars, if we're allied. So they don't like Burgundy, they don't like Bohemia, and they don't like Aragon, that's not surprising. The Ottomans have rivaled them, also not surprising. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a royal marriage. I don't have the keyboard shortcuts. Hopefully, Rumba's keyboard shortcuts will work now. Who rivaled mines to begin with? Frankfurt and NASA, of course. They don't like us, so we will go ahead and counter rival mines. That makes perfect sense to me. Um, and then let's try and ally with NASA, even though they are weak. They would take a royal marriage, and uh, that would get them to an alliance. So we've got NASA under the gun right now. So we'll start with that. Two days later. We have our royal marriages. Beautiful. Uh, Austria, would you take an alliance now? No, you would not. Uh, we're pretty close. We'll just have to improve some relations. We can do that. Frankfurt is the free city that's right here. Frankfurt, buddy, would you be friends? Um, no, you would not be friends because 
Basically, you're neutral. Well, I would like to be friends. So let's be friends. That will help some. We could also set provinces of interest, which we will do at some point. Now let's come back to us. Uh, so here we go. We can actually click on provinces of interest. That's of interest to me. So had I been able to do that, Frankfurt would have transferred that to me. Because I couldn't, they didn't. So it's really annoying. All right, we're going to rival mines, obviously, because the counter rival is makes total sense. Uh, I wish I could hit the C key for that. Uh, who else doesn't like us? Ulm doesn't like us in Wurzburg. So we'll just counter counter rival all of them. That's fine. They already don't like us, so we'll do that. No problem. As we know, we need to keep an eye on Bavaria, because Bavaria can be feisty. All right, Bavaria. Let's. Oops. Hold on. Get back into this. I don't really care about the clan. So you're going to be careful now. Right-clicking in that is going to be dangerous. Bavaria kind of is okay with us. Um, they're domineering. Well, that's not good. Hey, buddy, let's let's be friends. They're allied to rivals. The rivals with Holm. They're allied to Württemberg. That's fine. I, I don't worry about that. Um, you're domineering, which I don't like, but hey, let's be friendly. This is a new favor thing. It's a measure of how much Bavaria owes us for good deeds we've done in the past. Uh, it could be spent to increase trust or to prepare for war. Okay, great. They're trusting us somewhat. What are they interested in? I probably should have kept looking at that. Excuse me. Oh, they're interested in us. Perfect. Freaking beautiful. It's vital. Oh my god, it's not just strategic, it's vital. So they're going to try and come up after, after us again. So we're going to do the same thing we did in our last campaign. We're going to try and become friendly with these guys. Uh, they won't take an alliance because they're domineering, which is not good. Let's try and improve relations and see if we can't make them friendly. Uh, and we need, we need Austria's stat, so we're going to have to improve relations with them as well starting next month. Alliance from Würzburg, we accept. We're going to need all the help we can get when Bavaria comes knocking on our door. We do need a mission. Um, Diplo Rep is very helpful. We'll take this one. I'm not sure if we're going to start it right away, though, because Austria is so important. I'm really nervous about Bavaria right now. There's Austria again, the Kingdom of Italy. We've seen that many, many times. Improve relations with Austria. Let's try and get things going along. I mean, you should be friendly. Oh, Christ. That's bad. When we're doing take four, I can tell. Oh, God. If they annex us, it's over. If they just try and vassalize us, well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. We can come out from that. We can't do anything if they full annex. We need Austria. Austria, buddy. Oh my god, it's never gonna happen. Um, let's see, do any of the other big powers care about us? No. No. Bohemia could be a natural balance to Bavaria. No, but possible. Alright, no matter what we do to improve with Bavaria, they're not gonna be anything but domineering. They're not gonna switch to friendly. So... We need well, to stop improving with them. And let's see if we can't get Bohemia on our side. They're rivaled with Austria. This is not the ideal, but they can counterbalance Bavaria. So let's try and improve some relations here. See if we can't get them any sort of way along. You can get a Royal Marriage with, with Saxony right now. It's not enough to get them on our side, though. We need somebody right now that can help counterbalance area. I mean, I think if we get much towards April or May, it's going to be over. Mm. We've got some uh, crackle going on, so there's got to be something mathematically that's going on with the computer that wasn't going on before that I, there's there's some sort of problem with, uh, with something. I don't know. Oh, that's right. We have this estates thing now. So we do have estates. Uh, what we're doing for is loyalty levels. We want them to be high. Um, influence levels are, it doesn't really matter, and we 
we don't have any development that we can give them because we only have the one place. But if they have high loyalty, then we get we get benefits. It's 30% that's the problem. Yeah, so we get at least 30%. So we get trade efficiency. We would get better lower development costs if it was higher for that. We could get yearly influence and stability cost if that was higher. And we could get land maintenance modifiers if nobility was higher. So we can do interactions with all of them so we can call a Diet which would lose pride for students and they would gain loyalty for these people because um, you can always do that we can make a generous donation we can seek support of the clergy gain some more loyalty there it could take us up to 60 actually if we want to do that right now and then we could do things if they have loyalty by spending loyalty so we could lose some prestige to gain some things that happen but I don't think we're going to do that quite yet. Our prestige is rather low. But that's another thing that the Cossacks brought in. Alliance from NASA. I accept. That will help. Frankfurt. Are you in? Is you in or is you out? You're out. Because you rivaled Fortsburg. Okay. That's fine. <sighs> Let's see. Um, very man, seriously. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Although we're going to get a royal marriage with the Bohemia soon. It'll help. And we're already friendly, so that's not going to help us. Alright, next month we'll get the royal marriage, but it's, it's going to be too late. I don't think it's 25 opinion, or 25 reasons anymore either. I think it's only 15. Even be less than that. No, I, I can't tell because we're already allies. I have no diplomats to send. Austria is a lost cause. I'll try and get more later, but... Let's get the royal marriage here. And now we're only eight short of the alliance. We'll be able to get an alliance with Bohemia. The question is, will it be in time? And I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. any reason to spend money right now. It may not exist soon. I think we're gonna need a leader. But until I have an heir, that's really risky. I do need to buy more people. We'll go up to our force limit. That'll help keep Bavaria at bay. Stand by Russia! Still negative eight, that's not good. Should be moving. Hmm. Ugh, it's every two months. Oh my god, we got 14 more months to go. This is not good. Austria, buddy. I mean that's that's five years before they'll get in there. Oh god. Alright. Where's the uh, Empire likely to stay? Austria right now. No, it's actually moving. It's going to Brandenburg. Brandenburg, buddy. What do you think of us? You would take a royal marriage. Actually, that would be enough. How many reasons does it take? Royal marriage gives you ten reasons. Are you... Uh, no. Who is that? Pomerania. Okay, I could be allies with both of you. Alright, let's do this. We'll go over the, the limit. I don't care. We'll we'll dump first if we have to. Because if we can get oh, Brandenburg would be on our side right now. Brandenburg! Brandenburg, we must be friends. Please. 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 We're in like Flynn. Okay. Now, it might hurt our chances with Bavaria. It doesn't. Oh, we could have Brandenburg and Bohemia. And then we need Brandenburg to become the emperor. Austria will try. Don't don't get me wrong. Oh, wow. Brandenburg would actually vote for us right now. That's wild. Get my friends to play Mini Metro. Look out. So in four months, we should have enough for Bohemia.
don't think we can play the Emperor game very effectively as the OPM. I've seen it. I have seen OPM Emperors before. It's very rare. So, January, February, March. It'll be March that we can get there. It's really a shame, Bavaria. Why did you why'd you go and get a claim on me? It's very rude. But thank you for reminding me I should be doing that on mines. Every four, yeah, every four of those gets you one. So we gotta get up to 92. And of course, we're at 91. That gives us zero, actually, at 92. So we need to get to 96. Can we get to 96? We can. So in two more months. Ugh. I'm just happy Bavaria has stayed away so far. We do have 5,000, we do have 9,000 behind us, so 15,000. He does have to think at least a little bit about it. Although he's allied with Würzburg too. So it'll break an alliance with Würzburg. Actually, that's, that might be... Memmingen actually exists in this game. Increased forts or siege ability? Let's do forts because we only have the one province. Where's Memmingen? so I can't, like, easily look for it. There it is. Is that always independent? I don't remember an independent Memmingen at the beginning. I remember an independent Augsburg. I remember an independent Ravensburg. But I thought that was part of Bavaria to begin with. Hmm, maybe I've just never, never noticed. I don't know. I mean, the Cossacks could change things. I certainly would prefer Bavaria to go after him instead. Ah, oh, we're there. Excellent. I have four reasons. Very good. Bring him home. Boom. Offer the alliance. Boom. Okay. Now, Bavaria is not going to attack. They're not going to attack into Brandenburg, Bohemia. That's just not going to happen. So we don't have to worry about that. We have, however, been warned. Which is kind of annoying. Um... I don't think you, that you can undo that. I think they have to choose to undo that. So it's valid for another 18 years. It's kind of annoying that warning is 20 years long. Come on. But I think we've got an okay start on this one. It would be nice to have the current emperor. Is he still going to see it? I think... Yeah, see, there was too much time for Austria to solidify their vote. Whoa! I'm being voted for. <laughs> I have a vote. But they're backing Bohemia, so because they're backing Bohemia, they're going to... Um, yeah, I was going to say, Bohemia is going to change their vote because they've got a back. I don't mind Bohemia being the emperor either. I'd be perfectly fine with that. Like, if I could steal away Trier's vote, I might be able to do that. I can get 75 more points out of relations with Trier. Let's do that. Because if I can get the vote away from Austria, that means that it'll, the Bohemia will win by default. And I want to be friendly with the Emperor, because I want to be an elector, damn it. So it's kind of a long play, but I think it'll be worth it. So I don't know why the system is still having problems. It's, I mean, 8 megs of RAM should be enough. Uh, the, the systems should be able to handle each other. So I don't know, like, it could just be bad drivers. I mean, that's curse of Linux, really, is because you've got these people that won't release their hardware architecture, hardware architecture. And so, you know, the open source ones aren't great. The closed source ones aren't great because they don't care enough to update the Linux versions of it. And so the people that care don't have access to the things that, that would allow them to make it amazing and thereby sell more product. And then the people that have the product don't care. It's a very vicious circle. Alright, well, I think we're doing okay. Hans box start number three. We're making positive income right now. We've managed to balance Bavaria, so they're not likely to attack us, which is good. 
Um, it would have been nice to have Austria on our side, but that's that's a shame. All right, we've already got a powerful ally in their their rival with Austria, which is fine. If I could vote, I'd vote for the Union right now anyway. Yeah, see, slowly and slowly but surely they're getting closer to us. Isn't that interesting? We might even be able to get Cologne's vote. Actually, we might be able to get Brandenburg's vote. I don't think we can get another 85 relations, so. tough. We'll improve relations, though. We'll top them off. I mean, I can get another 90, 90, oh my god, I can get another 98 out of improved relations. I can get 83 more points. I only need 72. Oh my god, I might be able to become the emperor. Isn't that interesting? Oh, ally is an actual attitude now. Well, that's cool. I like that. have a favor. Every two years you gain favor because we're allies. That's that's cool. Because they're stronger than we are. Um, yeah, this is going to be really cool to play around with. I think I'll play the Emperor game. Um, because it's only going to be 52 and 68. At the slowest, it's always two. I don't think it ever just goes up by one a month. So I think your slowest is always two. So that's 34 months for Brandenburg and 26, so 34 months, three years basically. So in three years, if Austria doesn't die, I could become the emperor. And it's likely because if I get Brandenburg, then, then Bohemia is not getting a vote. So Bohemia will switch their vote to me. So we'll have Trier, Brandenburg, and Bohemia, and we'll be the emperor. And screw this petty little interactions with electors. Bah! We'll just be the emperor and steamroll everything. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we're starting over, you know, but it's, I think it's I think it's going to be a good thing. I'm really excited about it. I love you before. So if you enjoyed it, do click that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.